Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will show you how to model loads and generate load combinations in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this short video, we are going to be focusing on how to apply the self-weight to a model in STAD Pro. We will now turn our attention back to our sample model, and we can see that the loading tab in the workflow page control area is selected, and also the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar is active. In the load and definition dialog, we're now going to expand our load case details section. And we can see that our three load cases that are relevant for this particular model have already been set up. For this video, we're going to be showing you how to assign your self weight of your model. Now, the self weight is not automatically included in your STAD Pro model, but you can add it in simply by adding in a load item within your dead load case. So the first step in our workflow is to highlight the load case where you want your load item to appear, which for this case would be our dead load case. Once we've done that, we're gonna to go to the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on our load items icon. Now upon selecting that, the self-weight load is the first in the list over the left-hand pane. Now the self-weight load item is used to apply the self-weight of the structure as a load. The self-weight of all active components of the structure are calculated and applied as uniformly distributed loads in your model. When you specify your self-weight load, we are going to specify a direction of the Y direction and a factor of negative one. Now the default vertical axis in STAT Pro is the Y axis. A factor of negative one indicates that the self-weight is acting downwards in the direction of the negative global Y axis. Once we've entered our information, we'll go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close. Now most load items, when you specify them within a load case, are going to appear with a question mark symbol adjacent to them in the Load and Definition dialog. This basically means that this load item now needs to be manually assigned to the elements or members within the model for which they are appropriate. So we're going to assign this self-weight to the entire structure. So I'm going to highlight my self-weight load item. I'm going to specify an assignment method of assign to view, which will basically assign it to everything in the model. And then I'm going to finish this off by clicking on my assign button. And I'm going to confirm this operation by clicking yes. Now the material or the density parameter of the members and plates in the model will be used to calculate the self-weight of this structure, basically as a uniformly distributed load. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.